Hi guys, Happy New Year, I hope you are all well. Instead of doing a very laborious long blog post on my favourite products from last year, I thought that I would do a video because there is so much to get through and I think you're more likely to stay around if you're watching me instead of just reading lines and lines of text. First off is makeup remover. Now, controversial I'd say because I've used Biodermis and Sibio for so so long. I haven't stopped using it, but I'm now using it between rinsing my face after removing my makeup or cleansing my skin and moving on to my acids, as it helps just soften the skin and give it a little shot of moisture. So to remove makeup, I've been using Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. It just does what it says on the tin. The balm, it's a solid oil. You put it onto your skin, it feels like an oil. You rub it in, breaks down all SPF, makeup, especially waterproof mascara. It just, it just disintegrates as soon as it touches it. Then you emulsify it and remove it with a flannel and it doesn't leave any residue, it doesn't make my skin break out. It's just great. I think this is my fourth tub of this, maybe even fifth. It's fantastic. Now moving on to acids. This is a new discovery. I used to love the Pixi Glow Tonic, but actually this is a whole lot better. This is Skin Pure Medi Shot by Dr. Alec. He's the guy that runs Skin Miles. So he's an aesthetic doctor who's brought out his own range of five serums and the one there are three variants of it, the retinol, there's three strains. So this is basically an acid, it's got salicylic and hyaluronic acid in it, as well as zinc and niacinamide that helps calm the skin. It also has papaya and pineapple extract in it, so if you have allergies to either of those, maybe this isn't the one for you. But the texture of my skin has completely changed since using this, and I don't know, it, it has to be in my routine from now on, I absolutely love it. Then on to retinol, um, this year, I, last year, <laughs> um, I decided that I was going to be very conscientious with my skincare and that meant I had to do my retinol as often as I could, as often as my skin could take it. And the one that I've used by far the most this year, sorry, I will get, <laughs> I will get there, last year is the Biomedical Emporium Retinol Serum. It's, this is serious retinol. If you've never used retinol before, I wouldn't say jump straight into this, or if you are wary of using retinol, maybe use something like the Elizabeth Arden Retinol Ceramide Capsules, the new pink ones that came out. But this is serious stuff. It's, it's really, really amazing. If you're a seasoned retinol user, I would highly, highly recommend this. There's very minimal irritation. I've, I've had none, but my skin is like leather. So if your skin is a little bit reactive, you might experience some tingling with this, but nothing serious, you'll just get results. It, it's incredible. Um, night oils, which I tend to use on the evenings when I'm not doing retinol. Sometimes if my skin is really dry then I will combine the two. The one I've used for years and will probably always use is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. It's just a beautiful cocktail of oils that leaves your skin soft and hydrated in the morning without clogging your pores at all. Moving on to my day serum, the one that I've been using every single day for probably almost three months now, is Skin Gloss Radiant Shot Vitamin C Serum. It's, it's absolutely amazing. It has 10%, yes, 10% vitamin C. Vitamin C is notoriously difficult to stabilize, so either people will have reactions from it or the formula is not strong enough that you'll actually get any results. This, I've seen incredible improvements in my pigmentation and this just is, it's amazing. If you want to get your hands on this, it is available on skiningredients.com. Dr. Alec has kept it separate from Skin Miles because he wants it to create its own kind of culture around it without it getting lost with all the other products he has on Skin Miles. I'm going to be doing a full review on the whole range at probably the end of January, beginning of February because we've been scanning my skin with the Vizio machine. And once we've done the final scan, I'm going to put all the info together and give it to you in a full post that you can see the actual results. So I've noticed an improvement in my skin, but actually the scanner is showing amazing results as well, which is good. Moving on to day cream. Now, while I've been using skin products, I haven't actually needed a day cream because my barrier has been so good. It's the best it's probably ever been by using the vitamin C um, gloss radiant shot as well as the Marvel hydration shot during every, every morning. But when I have been using a day cream, it has been this. It's the Sisley Velvet Nourishing Cream. Oh, is that showing up? Um, first of all, I don't really like creams in pots. I know that formulas have advanced now that they are stable and you're not putting germs in. 
well, you're putting germs in, but they're not breeding in the in the tub, which is what they used to do. Um, but this is just really lightweight, really nourishing and comforting on the skin, especially on days I find in the southeastern Cape Town, my skin gets very windburnt, and this helps just calm it down and prevent it from getting really, really bad. Moving on to SPF. Now, those of you that know me or have been around these parts for a while will know that I wear SPS, <laughs> SPF every single day. Now, I've only got three here, but other honourable mentions in this collection needs to go to La Roche-Posay. Anything from their Anthelios XL range is amazing, as well as anything from Aven. Those those two brands I also always, always use. Whenever, whenever I have, it doesn't matter if it's even for oily skin, they always work. But the three that I have in rotation at the moment is the Helio Care Gel Cream Light. This is... This is one that I use when I'm not going to wear makeup. It's kind of a no makeup day SPF because it has got a tint to it. Um, quite a few people say that it oxidizes on them. I know Dr. Alex's wife, Sam, she said that she can't wear this because it just goes orange on her, like the color of the cap. But I don't find that. I don't know if it's because my undertone is quite yellow, but I love it. It's SPF, broad spectrum, fabulous. Helio Cares also contains a very special antioxidant that helps it specifically protects against sun damage because there's loads and loads of antioxidants and they all do different things. This one contains firm block specifically for sun protection, UV protection. Then, um, the Privage City Smart from Elizabeth Arden is also, it's flippin' amazing. It's also got anti-pollution full of antioxidants as well as broad spectrum um, protection. It's also super hydrating but it gives quite a matte finish doesn't make any sense but it it's a matte finish but your skin doesn't feel dry or tight afterwards and it doesn't leave any ashy finish it's also got a slight tint which I think look I can only speak for my skin but I think it's universal because often tints this kind of it's very beige it would leave a kind of ashy film on my face and it doesn't do that at all and it works beautifully under makeup it's, I've almost finished this one I need a new one it's fabulous then the other one, last one, sorry I had to do three, I just, there are three that I'm using at the moment. This is for days where I'm going for a hike or I know that I'm going to be in the sun and I need serious protection that's going to last and I'm not necessarily going to wear makeup over it. It's good under makeup but this is like serious, <laughs> serious sunscreen and it's the Biomedical Translucent, Translucent Day SPF 30. Um, it helps prevent photo-aging, it also has antioxidant protection, and it's also um, broad spectrum, so you're protecting against a large spectrum of the UV light. Um, yeah, it, it's amazing. I love this a lot. And finally, in skincare, moving on to a mask. It's a non-mover at number one. I don't think this will ever not be my number one mask. It's the Sissy Black Rose Cream Mask. I'm, I think this is the fourth year... It's been my number one since it launched and it will always be. It's soothing, it's hydrating, and it's nourishing, and it smells like rose. <laughs> what more do you want? What more do you want from it's, from anything, really? It's amazing. Okay, hair care. This is going to be quite a small category because I don't do anything with my hair. <laughs> David Gilson does more with my hair when I see him maybe nine times a year than I do the rest of the time. <laughs> But I'm going to tell you what I use anyway. I don't have my favourite mask here. Um, I finished it and I stupidly threw a packet away. Um, and I say packet, it's a sachet. It's the Davines The Spotlight from the Circle Chronicles collection. I will link below to the blog post that I did on them because this, if you don't know the product, it probably sounds quite strange. But it comes in a little sachet. And it says you get, I think, up to three uses out of it. But I got like ten. I mean, I, my hair is kind of down to here. So if you have very long hair, maybe you won't get as many as me out of it, but it just makes your hair glossy and shiny and make you look like you've just stepped out of a salon when actually you've been dealing with a tantrumian toddler. <laughs> the shampoo and conditioner that I use, I've been using Hask now for years, it is years, um, And but the two that I've been loving at the moment, the one I have in the shower at the moment is the Cactus Water, which is delivers beautiful moisture without weighing down your hair, and then the other one is this, this is the Hawaiian Sea Salt. Um, which gives kind of a scrunchy texture without any crunch. It just gives a little bit of volume to your hair, but not that kind of bouffant Miss Universe volume. It's lovely. It doesn't irritate your scalp. It hasn't got parabens in it 
or sulfates. Um, not that I really care about parabens, but it's sulfate free if you are worried about parabens, so this doesn't contain any. Uh, they're often on 3 for 2 offering clicks. I can't remember if they're in Discam. I think they are. I think they are. They might be in clicks and Discam. I'll put it on the screen if they're not available in Discam. <laughs> but yeah, great, 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 great. Then another non at number one is my Moroccan Oil Treatment Light. This is another product that I will use forever. I use it on my hair every single day and I have done for probably a decade. It just hydrates my hair and leaves it soft. It's fantastic. I'm going to put another one in here because it's kind of similar to the Moroccan Oil Treatment Light but I think because it's a different uh, texture it delivers a little bit more definition to my hair and it is the Schwarzkopf Gliss Hair Repair. This is the Million Gloss Oil Replacement and it's um it's just got micro oil, oil particles that leave your hair really really shiny reduces frizz quite a lot but it accentuates my curls more than the moroccan oil does so for the last couple of weeks it's been summer i've been in the pool i've been in the sea a lot my hair is really scraggly at the ends and um i've just been putting my moroccan oil on and then following it with this and my curls have been so much more defined and my hair a lot more manageable so i'd really really recommend this as well Moving on to, to treatment, mm. this one's not really a treatment, I was going to say treatment, but it isn't. Um, it's the Colab Dry Shampoo. This is the fresh one, I love this scent especially. Um, it also has a mermaid on it, it's great. Um, it's the best dry shampoo on the market for me. Um, don't DM me, it is. Um, it doesn't leave any of that revolting residue on your scalp. I can't stand dry shampoos that as soon as you put them on you're like no nah, I'm, I'm gonna have to wash my hair now which kind of avoids the point of putting on dry shampoo. This one does not do that. Spray it into your hair, rub it through, bobs your uncle, you're good to go, your hair looks clean. Now I do not style my hair. I literally maybe maybe four times a year blow dry and style my hair. <laughs> Sorry, David, I'm sorry. <laughs> but every time that I do, basically the only styling product I use is the GHD Style Curl Hold Spray. This has been a favorite for years as well. I also only ever use my GHD Platinum Styler or my GHD Creative Curl One for those of you that want to know what I do when I very rarely style my hair. It's only ever those. Just, just, no, just from now until 2025, that will be the answer. Okay, then moving on to body care. <laughs> I say body care, it's literally the three products that I put on my body. I don't know what to say to you. Um, Elancel actually sent me a package of all their new products recently. And I don't know if cellulite creams really work. I don't think they do. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to test them and just see what results I get. I lasted three days. I just forget and I just don't, I don't have time. Also, I don't really have the inclination if I'm honest. Um, <laughs> so I use body cream and I use hand cream. And I use some self tan, but that's only because I discovered this brand this year. So body cream, I either use the Aveeno body yogurt, which I'm currently out of, or anything from Crabtree and Evelyn. The thing, the one that I'm using at the moment is the pomegranate and argan oil. It looks like this. Oh my gosh, it smells so much like Morocco. It's untrue. Those of you that are gone will just, you'll get wanderlust all over again and you'll want to go back. It's incredible. It's quite a rich cream, but it doesn't leave your skin sticky or you don't feel like you're in a wetsuit when you wear it. You know you know what I mean? That really thick, revolting cream. Like, oh. I find the body shop body butters do that. I feel like I've been covered in cling form. It's not nice. Um, and then, okay, so the self time that I discovered this year, um, they sent me their whole new range. And oh, I'm so obsessed with being tan now. But the one that um, I like the most, because as I mentioned, I'm quite lazy, is the Skinny Tan Gradual Tanner. So you put it on like you would a body cream, and a couple of hours later you have a tan. Doesn't smell like self-tan. Um, they claim that it helps to, is it, is it cellulite it fights? I can't remember, but I don't know about that. I don't know about the skinny bit of this tan, but I know that the tan bit definitely, definitely works. Hand cream, it's only ever cow shed, cow pat. I also like the fact that cow pat sounds like cow pud which is Thai food that I really love. This has got grapefruit and coriander in it. 
very herbaceous, fresh, fresh, fresh scent. Um, talking of scents, how's that link? I could be a DJ. Um, my obsession with Chanel fragrance is beginning to be a bit of a problem. I adore number five low, and I thought that that would just be my scent for the whole of 2018 and beyond. Until this launched. Paris to Buritz. Guys, oh, it is so beautiful. It's part of the Voyage collection, and there are so three or four others. I think it's three other fragrances, and they're they're all inspired by journeys that um, Mademoiselle used to take herself. So it's just the sense of the journey and the destination of these places that she used to love to go to. This is my favorite, and I have just worn it. I think every single day, bar two, since I got this scent. Okay, we're on the home stretch. <laughs> Nail polish. Again, my most worn polish this year is Movala Nail Color Cream in Jasper. Looks like this. It's kind of a deep, rich, winey red. I just, I flip and love it. But, please hold. But, I discovered this this year. OPI Gel Break. It is marvelous. Now you can get this done in salon at selected sorbet stores. They've got a, um, a link on their website as to which salon stock it. I'll try and find that link and put it below. But it's a three-step system to basically strengthen and fortify your nails in between having gel applied. Guys, you won't believe how good this is. So the first one is a serum. Then the second one is your color, which is a very natural color. I use the shade properly pink. There's a more yellow toned one, and then there's a more kind of bisky shade, depending on your skin tone, which is very clever, I think. It's based on your skin tone. And then the final coat is a protector. So it's like a normal, like normal nail polish, but it lasts. I think I've had this on, the record I counted before I got a chip was 10 days. I mean, okay, I know it's OPI, which is really good, but flip. And then when you take it off, your nails are like talons. And I have always had really, really crappy nails. And this has completely changed them this year. Right. I feel like I've been talking for days. Okay, makeup. I'm gonna start with one that will not surprise you at all. Another non-mover at number one is Chanel Vita Lumia Aqua. I use the shade 20 Beige. Yes, yes, this is <laughs> my favorite. Um, it's what I'm wearing today. Most days it's what I'm wearing. Um, concealer, although I need to talk to NYX about their caps. I don't know if you can see that, but they always crack. This is the third one I've had and the top is cracked. It is so frustrating. But anyway, my favorite concealer of this last year is the HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. My word, that is a lot. I'm in the shade CW02. The stuff covers everything and it doesn't move. Highlighter. <laughs> now, um, I don't really contour and highlight and things a lot, but on days where I need to. This is one that I've been using. It's the Elizabeth Arden Flawless Finish Correcting and Highlighting Perfector. I'm in the shade two. It's it's the same packaging as Touche Clark, but much better formula in my opinion. It conceals to a certain degree. I wouldn't say that it's a concealer. I think the correcting is a little confusing. It's not a concealer. It basically just finishes off and adds a little bit of glow to areas that you want or need. Um, I'm going to do bronzer, but guys, we have to maybe just have a moment for this because I broke my Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Powder. I'm in the shade medium light. I'm not even going to open this because it's smashed. I smashed it. You know when you, <laughs> you do something and your heart stops? and you actually can't breathe and you've got a lump in your throat. That's how I felt when I dropped this. It was quite new as well. <laughs> and I tried to fix it the way that you would an eyeshadow by crushing it up and then pressing it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. But the formula is quite creamy, so it actually just made it worse. So now I'm just hanging on to a compact full of dust. <laughs> Messy dust. But anyway, um, I'll try and find a picture and put it on the screen now of what it actually looks like. 
Um, yeah, I can't even, I can't. I was gonna show you, but I, oh, I've got it all over me. It's, it's the most amazing, amazing bronzer for light and kind of yellowy skin tone like mine. Um, then, moving on to mascara. Now I, this one has been a favorite again for years. It's the Lancome Hypnose Waterproof. The stuff doesn't budge. I've gone swimming in the sea for hours and it hasn't come off, it hasn't panderized, nothing. And I only ever used to use waterproof mascara. Two reasons, I mentioned before, lazy, I don't want to faff with my eyes throughout the day. Um, but also I've got long lashes, but they're very straight down. So I curl them with my eyelash curlers and then I use this. And I find that waterproof mascara holds a curl so much better than regular mascara. So that's why I always use waterproof. Until I discovered Le Volume Revolution from Chanel. It's the world's first mass-produced 3D printed wand. Nothing will actually do justice to how amazing this thing is. Um, the brush is great, but the formula is incredible. It's, oh, it really is amazing. If you're looking for a new mascara that ticks all the boxes, this is the one to try. Brows. This is one that I've also used for probably, I want to say two years, it's probably two years now, and it's the Maybelline Brow Precise, Brow Precise Fiber Filler Brow Mascara. I use the shade Deep Brown, and it's basically like, you remember those mascaras that had the little fibers in them from years ago, they were massive trained. Basically this is the same thing, but for your brows. So it gives you a bit of color, a bit of definition, and it also fills in any kind of scraggly bits. The one looks like this. You see, I don't know if you can see the little fibers. It's amazing and it's waterproof. It doesn't come off. You don't get like <laughs> stray bits of brow all over your face during the day. It's great. Uh, blush. I don't really use that much blush, but when I do, it is Sicily's Phyto Blush in to Fuchsia. This one. And I love it because you just scrub it on your cheeks, blend it in with your finger or a brush or a beauty blender, whatever you want, and off you go. It's great, lasts all day. Also, it doesn't sit in in any pores or on fine hairs like a lot of cream blushes can do. It's really, really lovely. Um, where do I go to next? Eyeliner. Um, it's really only ever been exaggerated waterproof eye definer from Rimmel. This is the shade Rich Brown, but I have them in pretty much every single shade. Um, okay. Another moment of mourning. This time it's not my fault. Elizabeth Arden, we need a word because they have discontinued my beloved seashell. <sighs> this, is the this is from It's Beautiful Color Eyeshadow in Seashell. I love this so much. <laughs> I'm wearing it today. It's just a your eyelids but better kind of shade for me and I'm devastated that <laughs> it's no longer around. I am very lucky that I have got quite a few backups so I have a couple of years to find a replacement, but it's just a beautiful color. I either use it on its own like I do today when I'm wearing a bald lip, or it is always my base color when I'm doing a more dramatic eye. It's fantastic. On days where I don't want to wear powder and I've done kind of a cream, more of a cream based face, I use the Chanel Ombre Premiere in Scintillance. Sorry French people, I don't speak French. It's this beautiful shimmer, very similar to Seashell. Um, let me show you them next to each other. Very similar. The Arden is a little more peachy and the Chanel is a little more gold. Just depends on what I feel like on the day, but those are the two that I reach for every day, pretty much. Moving on to lips, I always, always prep my lips and start my makeup by applying Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. This is the lip protectant. This is the beautiful limited edition with, his name has just gone out of my head. Anyway, he's a street artist who does the most amazing, you call graffiti, has a bad connotation, but he does beautiful graffiti. Amazing, it's just amazing. <laughs> and then moving on to actual lip products. These are a very recent discovery that my sister and I found. It's the Dewy Full Lips Conditioning Lip Butter from Catrice. Um, we both have both of these shades. So the more nude kind of beige shade is called, let's do this. Oh my God. 
uh, little, quite a flat doe foot there. And then the more berry shade is called Dr. Dolittle. I'm sorry, I don't, I didn't make these things. They did. It's bad. It's just as well the product's great, because um, wow, dad works. <laughs> and then moving on to serious lipsticks, my my everyday nude is. <laughs> this is not sponsored by Chanel. It's just I love their makeup. Is the Rouge Allure in 227 Village? Looks like this. It's got a really, really subtle shimmer running through it, like very, very subtle Chanel shimmer, not like RuPaul shimmer. Beautiful. And then when I wear red lips, it's the one that I'm wearing now. It is the NARS Velvet Lip Pencil in Dragon Girl. These are not available in South Africa, but you can get them off Netta Porte. And I think it's either Feel Unique or Cult Beauty. I can't remember which. I will link below. The best matte formula you will ever try. Your lips stay hydrated, the stuff does not move. I have sat through a lunch and a dinner and I still didn't have to retouch. Amazing. Uh, amazing. I also have Mysterious Red, which is slightly deeper and more kind of purpley rather than a blue red. And finally, we've got here guys, we've got here. If you're still here, thank you so much. Um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, which you can use as a primer, clues in the name, but also clues in the name, it's a great finishing spray to set your makeup. It's very confusing. I've Use as a primer before makeup application as a setting spray to lock on your look or as a refresher to wake up your makeup. So basically it's just a face spray, but it's really good at setting makeup. <laughs> um, that's it guys. If there's anything that I haven't included in here that you want to know if I have a favorite of, please pop it in the comments below and I will get back to you. Um, although there probably isn't because these are the products that I used the most. I mean, there might be other things like liquid eyeliner. <laughs> I don't use liquid eyeliner. I haven't got time for that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon. And I hope that 2019 is a cracker in a good way. Bye.